Podcast 3. I'm Rana. I'm Tully. And I'm Ben. Join us as we travel around Australia. In this video, we go to Uluru and Kato Judah. We also make some friends along the way. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that we visit and pay our respect to the elders past and present. We have made it all the way to Yulara. We're just leaving the campground now to get sunset and hopefully a full moon rising over Uluru. We quickly get set up. Tully's got a red lemonade. Mum's got a wine, and I've got a cold beer. He took out an open, Here comes the full moon. It was spectacular. Watch it. Good morning. Today we are heading into town. We're doing a few of the free talks that um, Airs Rock Resort puts on. So we're learning about bush yarns, bush tucker, and how to play the didgeridoo. Sitting around for bush yarns. The bush yarns was really cool. We got to learn all about the weapons and the traditional tools and the methods of how they made them. What did you like best about it, too? Spear. Spear. Spear was pretty cool. There's flowers, there's Rana with a camera. Just sitting in town centre waiting for the didgeridoo workshop. <laughs> So we have done the bush yarns free workshop and we've done the yidaki or didgeridoo workshop and now we're off to learn about bush tucker. These free workshops have been really interesting and a good uh, homeschooling day for Tully. So the bush tucker workshop was really interesting. It is crazy. <laughs> Went under twice and tried to stay in the pool, but that was just freezing cold, too cold. Look, Tully looks so happy how cold it is. We are at the camel farm. Not to ride a camel, but to see reptiles. There it is, red desert reptiles. The reptile show was really cool. Got to see some good snakes and some really interesting lizards. That's it, mate. It's all great. Yeah. Good stuff. We just couldn't help ourselves. We went for a short camel ride. It was a whole lot of fun and Tully's first time on a camel. We're at the rock. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we are just taking it easy. Looking at the rock. Wow. That's where we used to walk up. You can see the scar still. And all the footprints. I actually feel bad to admit that I climbed up at once. It's an impressive rock. We were just gonna drive around the base, but you can't help but get out and go and have a closer look at it. 
To me, in its yeah. presence is crazy. Absolutely amazing. It's just one of those things you have to do once in your lifetime at least. So cool. You little thorny devil. Yeah. We are on the bus, ready for Field of Lights. So this is us, just hanging out, watching the sunset. The Field of Lights. Spectacular. Hey Tully, let's get going, man. Bike riding around Uluru. Yeah. Let's get ready for a bike ride. Mum's off and riding already. It's such an easy ride, just flat and cruisy. Paths are nice and wide. Easy to get past other walkers. Sun's out, which means flies are out. So on goes the nets, the fly nets. Feeling better already. All right, this is a nice little single track section. Look at this place. We've just been to the water hole and that was absolutely amazing. We feel like we must almost be finished the walk or the ride. Two dollars and six point nine for diesel. Ouch. Gotta do it. So we have been to Uluru a couple of times now and we are heading to Katajuda. Katajuda. Or the Olgas. Uh, this place is super cool. Been once before looking forward to it again can't wait it's a really quite a windy day today so uh what is it the valley of the winds i think that's where we're going the valley of the winds we might actually get blown away we'll see how we go the view from the lookout here is just stunning when you're lost and no one's there check it out Alrighty, we're walking to the valley of the wind.
finished. We did uh, the Valley of the Winds. Maybe to this one, the second lookout. We walked in for an hour and walked back an hour. Tully did an amazing job today with his walking and uh, this fly net thing worth every cent and now we're getting ready to go and see the sunset over Katajuna Katajuna look at this Rana put on a bit of a spread but she forgot one of the most important things in her eyes what did you forget Rana? what? I forgot the wine left it in the fridge. I'm going to have to have cordial instead. <laughs> oh, well, that's soon. Uh, if, that, if that's our biggest problem, then we're doing all right, hey? It wasn't much of a sunset, so we just decided to drive home. We thank the Anangu people for letting us experience their culture and their land.